tired. It's October 20th. Connor and I are settled in here. We're out on the property for the where the Big Ten lives and I don't have a lot of faith in the spot we're in. Uh, tonight's wind, we got a southeast wind. It's a really tough wind for this property and the access of it. But I leave town for a couple days for some work meetings, so I wanted to at least come out and try it tonight and just uh, just observe, if nothing else. This deer has been uh, pretty elusive on camera, even. Um, I'm not sure if he's living on the property or living somewhere else, but if he's living on the property, he's doing a heck of a job of avoiding all my trail cameras I have set up for him. But I've talked about this before with uh, with individual bucks and their personalities since I started hunting this deer mid-November last year. It's held pretty true that he's just not a real aggressive buck. He doesn't work a lot of scrapes f from as far as I can tell anyway. Not to say he doesn't, but it's just, it's really quick, just more of a scent check and walk away. And I just, I don't get very many pictures of him in general, so. I said, I don't expect to see a lot tonight, but at least wanted to get in the tree. It is another chilly October evening. We've had a little string of them here before it warms up again uh, tomorrow or Thursday. So you never know. It might might surprise us. Maybe he's living out here somewhere. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see what happens tonight. Hopefully we can at least see some deer moving through. We got a bunch of bucks down below sparring. We got probably 30, 40 minutes left. But while we're waiting on something else to come out, I figure I'd share that I was fortunate enough to go out with Grant on Sunday. And we went to my farm and Grant was able to put down a six and a half year old deer we called Bob. It was a really fun hunt and I'm uh, pumped up that Grant was able to get his first Iowa buck. After I get back from traveling these next couple days, I'm gonna start working on putting the whole hunt together and you guys can watch it on the, the, the main show next Monday. But it was, uh, it was pretty cool to have a deer of that caliber, a deer we've known for four years now, come in and uh, Grant was able to put him down. That buck working that scrape back in there is not bad. It's not big, but he's better than these other ones. We're about to pack up, and uh, like I mentioned, I didn't have high expectations. Pretty slow night, just a few small bucks, but they at least they were all fired up. I'm gonna be out of the woods for the next couple of days due to work, but it's supposed to cool off after that, and I'm excited to hopefully hit it hard. It's been oddly slow for me. You know, the, my target bucks just have not been showing up, um, and I, I figured this time of year with this weather it'd be good, but keep saying it but it should pick up soon uh, once we hit you know these next few days and towards to the end of the month in my opinion is the best time to kill a resident buck so I'm gonna try to hit it hard um, if this deer this big 10 isn't showing up I'm gonna have to probably move to one of the other ones just because I don't want to miss out on any opportunities this time of year so I'll see it'll be interesting to see who shows up and when, but I know the best hunting is coming right up.